mushroom risotto using dried mushrooms. I just have a pot on low heat which I fill with hot water and then I add some dried girol, some black chanterelle and some steinpitz. I don't know what they're called in English. I put in some chicken stock in there and then I use um, some old parmesan cheese rinds. These I just keep in my freezer and they will just infuse the stock with parmesan flavour. So, you should never throw those away. I just add now some oil and a little bit of butter into the other pan with some very finely diced onions. Don't want to get any colour on those. I just have some truffle salt there. And I add bay leaves and some garlic. Stir that around before adding in white wine. I add this white wine um, in two batches because it was in my fridge. And if you add all of the white wine at once, it will just take too long to reduce. And then I add some pepper and some paprika, unsmoked paprika, before I add my Arborio risotto rice. I add about two handfuls per person and then I toast that off for about three or four minutes. And then I start adding ladles of stock. I don't do one ladle at a time or anything like that. I've, I've never noticed the difference between adding four ladles at once and adding one. I, I think it, it's unnecessary. I take out the bay leaves because they have now done their job and then just to finish I add in parmesan that looks like quite a lot but the, the micro plane does that there's also some rosemary and some sage and a knob of butter and then I just stir that all in and that did that melts really quickly because it really is hot the risotto and then I just taste it Decide I'm going to add some truffle oil. I just add about a teaspoon, not too much, then some more truffle salt. Taste it again, and it needs a bit more, a bit, a bit of pepper. And then that's it. It's, it was really great.